Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about natal charts with no mutable signs in them. And the mutable signs, as most of you know, are Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Now, when I say no mutable signs, I'm, what I'm saying is no planets in mutable signs, the ascendant in a non-mutable sign, in the MC or Midheaven in a non-mutable sign as well. Now, uh, lack of uh, mutable signs can indicate the immutability. There should maybe some lack of adaptability. This person may at times have difficulty kind of coming out of their box, uh, so to speak. They might be very uh, set in their ways. Uh, the less, uh, however, on one positive side, there may be less propensity to worry because the mutable signs are, are more strongly associated with that. Uh, there will be less changeability in the person's life. They may be, have difficulty in making compromises in relationships. They may have to rely on the other person to more acquiesce to what they want as opposed to the other way around. Transition may be difficult uh, for uh, these people. People that have no uh, mutability in their charts, um, they may have a little more trouble adapting to adverse circumstances such as, say, losing uh, a home, for example, where the mutable signs generally have more of that proclivity to deal with the change and deal with adverse circumstances or situations better. The um, people that have no mutable uh, signs in their natal chart they may not uh, be able to do so as easily. Don't get me wrong, fixed signs have inordinate willpower and they can will their way through adverse situations, but the transition for them in, in, in dealing with the negative situation is would take the, these people longer on average, I, I believe, is in contrast to the mutable signs. Now, the mutable, uh, mutable element, or I should say the quality, is about often about diversification and if someone has no mutable signs in their natal chart they really they can at times have difficulty expanding their horizons they may be kind of in their general their routine cardinal signs the emphasis is about action and uh, assertiveness uh, uh, initiative about starting things there's activity with carnal with fixed. It's about more sustained uh, efforts, maybe l less projects as opposed to the cardinal signs. But the mut but the lack of the mutability on the positive side could indicate uh, generally more persistence and tenacity with these uh, people that uh, that don't have the mutable quality in their horoscope. Uh, this could be. Uh, these people often are less about thinking about things and they're more about the action in putting uh, putting the plans more into actions. The actions speak uh, louder than words philosophy, so to speak. Uh, people that have no mutable quality in their natal, uh, as far as the qualities go in the natal chart, can be um, basically very uh, I would say they're very more probably a little bit more have stability more I think uh, mutable signs tend to have a little bit more restless the, there's more restless energy going on inside them and you'll see people that have the no um, that have no mutable uh, quality in their chart no no signs in Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, or Pisces, in the planets ascended or, or midheaven, they'll be more uh, more inclined to actually. It's more about the actions I've stated before. It's not. It, it mutable signs are more of the thinkers. The, the, the Gemini is more of, the, of really thinking about things, talking about uh, plans. The the Virgo is analysis, the Pisces is the dreamer, and the Sagittarius has philosophies and can have very um, 
and they could change their philosophies very um, very quickly so that's the changeable part with Sagittarius and the thing about um, the, the somebody that has no mutable signs in their natal chart they what what they may need to learn is to learn to hear the other person's viewpoint a little bit more often their other people's perspectives now on the positive side these people may have that that persist strong persistent persevering qualities in them and the stick to itiveness that the mutable that maybe people that have a stronger concentration of mutable signs would have um, or wouldn't have I should say however people that have no mutable in their natal chart can be overly dogmatic they really their their points of view it, a lot of times could just be like well it's my way or the highway and it just because somebody might have a different uh, viewpoint than these people it doesn't mean they're necessarily wrong both people may be right there's all there's answers to many questions that have multiple answers and just because one has might be different than than these people it doesn't mean it's necessarily wrong or erroneous i think that's one important uh, thing to remember as far as uh, people that have uh, no mutable uh, they don't have that mutable quality in their natal charts now there can be compensations as far as house uh, placements go if people have uh, some planets in the mutable or cadet, cadet houses which would be the third sixth ninth and twelfth this can help and almost everybody is going to have at least uh, one I should say two because if you have a mutable sign on one house cusp you'll have it on the opposite uh, cusp as well we'll have at least two mutable signs on house cusp in their natal chart if somebody has a Gemini on their third house cusp this could be a person that could be very diversified in communications Gemini in the third house cusp it's in its natural house placement so uh, they could really this could be a person that uh, really enjoys learning and assimilating many new subjects has a lot of versatility mentally and may learn a lot of different uh, languages so there are you can everybody has almost everybody has some mutable quality in their charts even if you don't have any planets in mutable signs or the ascendant in, in midheaven and either one is an immutable sign it's not all lost in planets by progression uh, you at least usually have some in your lifetime that will go over to a mutable sign so you might be expressing some mutable quality at that point in time as well also uh, a chart that is um, that's very spread out and I'm saying that would be the splash pattern in a natal chart that could be a compensation as well as these people can be multifaceted and adaptable and versatile so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for natal charts uh, that don't have the fixed uh, I'm sorry that don't have the mutable quality in them and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the chart signature or final uh, signature in a natal horoscope two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well